Blog Talk Radio. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's show. It is uh, April 20th, 40, um, 420 weekday. So after everybody's getting high on their own supply or somebody <laughs> else's. <laughs> I had to, I had to. <laughs> right. It's like we can beat, you know, it was up on my on my news feed all week. We can beat, I'm like, oh, shit, it's about to go down. But, um, yeah, welcome to tonight's show. Um, guys, you want to say hi? What's going on, good people? It's your boy, Clint. You know, happy 420 to all my uh, marijuana uh, supportees out there. <laughs> what up, though? This is Willie Styles. What's up, people? Hope y'all having a great uh, uh, 420, <laughs> however you do it. I'm having a drink myself. No, no wake and bake for me. <laughs> I mean, ice cream, so ice cream and I don't know. I tried to come up with something and didn't come out. Didn't come out right, but whatever. <laughs> if you're listening now, you're on blogtalkradio.com for slash GFT radio show. Um, phone lines open up at um, 10:30. Phone number is 657-383-1155, and you can tweet us as we're doing the show live at GFT underscore radio. But tonight's topic is a little. It's a fun one. It's it's you know something to talk about. Um, I'm, I want to tell you how I came. The topic basically is, is what is your sex number? Now, how I came up with this topic was I was a minister, you know, on SB, and I posted this uh, picture I saw. And it was basically like, women, would you admit to one of these five things? And it was a couple of things. And in later on in the discussion of the, with the group, they were like, you know, um, I, I, how about you say it, it, doesn't, it shouldn't matter how many people, how many times, how many people slept with. How many people the person slept with? It should just matter whether or not they, you know, STD free. So I kind of posed the question, like, would the sex number of your mate, partner, potential, whatever, matter to you as far as dating is concerned? So I'm going to ask the guys. Guys, what do you think? You want to go first, Willie? Sorry, my my mute was on. <laughs> so so I'm sorry to say you, you you said the number for what now? I'm sorry. Yes, should the should the number of how many people the person that you're either dating, currently dating, or trying to date or marriage or whatever does it matter? Does it factor in when it comes to relationship? Like, so, should, would you consider relationship material if they had a high number? I mean, just 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 from the general, you know, need to know or not or need not to know. I I feel like it shouldn't matter, you know what I mean, because I think you should base your relationship on, you know, the two people that are involved in the relationship currently, you know what I mean? So that number shouldn't deter or attract the the other person to you um, for any reason other than, you know, I mean, if you feel like that person needs to, to, to take extra measures to be more cautious or or if you feel like y'all need to discuss how you're going to approach a sexual relationship, I mean, that that's about the only reason that, you know, you should be even uh, concerned at that level. But, you know, I don't think it should, I don't think it should keep you from being in a relationship with somebody just because they got a high number or, or you know, middle number, whatever the case may be. Quint? Well, oh no, it, it, it's tricky. It's tricky because like if we live in the same area, and, and and you got a high number in this area, then it's like I don't know. I can't really, I can't really say I, I would be. You feel me? And then it depends on who it is. I, you know, I'm, like for instance, you know, you got a high number, especially in my city. My city's small, so so now you may not know who all my friends is. Mm-hmm. You know, and then. It may come a situation that with damn, you know, fuck. If your number's so high, it's a good possibility you fucked a couple of my friends. Mm-hmm. So then that right there is like, oh no, you feel me? Like damn, you feel me? Got to cook out, be like damn, man. You know, face up my girl. They all here now. I me, mean, like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, you know, here's, here's the problem. 
thinking about it. you know your girl a freak and you looking at your boy, you look and everybody that's the man, that situation awkward, man. Like, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean I think that that could be awkward. That is true. That is true. I mean But look at it from a woman's perspective perspective. Oh, yeah. For women. You know, guys most guys brag about having extremely high numbers. They don't even they most of them run lost count. Some of them. And so it could be the same for the girl. Like, I'm good this dude, I love him, but he fucked about everybody I know. Like, you fuck everybody, even the bitches I don't hang with that I got to see every day. I mean, at work, you fuck about four bitches I know at work, you fuck about two of my friends. Like, it happens that way. And especially when but, you're in a small town. So, at, I mean, I'm just being honest in that small, in a small town. Like, you accept you know, that. You know, just because you accept that don't mean it should be cool. Well, it's not that, it's not that you accept it, but I'm like, you, we, we feel the same way. Like, bitch, you fuck them. You know what? Like, if you got a big dick, they know. Like, bitch, uh uh-huh, honey, yeah, I know you get in your back. Like, bitch, why are you out? Oh, girl. Like, come on. Like, I don't, I don't want to be with somebody that is a potential that I look at this bitch every day and I know that she's fucked this person. Like, I'm, we, we have the same problem as y'all, but like, but like, most men do have high numbers and, if, you know, it's, it's more, it's more reasonably y'all to say, it. huh? <laughs> y'all accept it. What, what 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 we what we gonna do? Right. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I mean, no, have okay, a standard. So, well, no. So now this is my thing though. Is that it's it's not only that they accept it. It's just that it become it's the norm, right? Because now you you're you're saying you're saying it's awkward to you to to be with a chick because she might have smashed a homie, right? But. Yeah. But if 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 you if you know if your uh, uh, if a if a guy if two guys did smash the same chick, nobody thinks that that's unusual. Nobody feels like that's awkward or that's weird. Y'all just yeah. be like, well, we both smashed her, right? Nobody nobody ever feel, you know looks down upon that for the most part. Nobody ever ever exactly. says that that's you know that that that's awkward. You know, it it just becomes it's just normal, yeah. you know. But but you from a, from a female you perspective, you ain't, you ain't supposed to you ain't supposed to wife you ain't supposed to wife. If she's smashing the home, you ain't supposed to wife that. that exactly. That, that, see, that, see, that's rule number one. That happens. People fall in love. You ain't supposed. Ain't no love in the world. Nah, forget all that. You, if she's smashing the home, you are well, not. Let Willie make his point because I, I think <laughs> Willie was going where, where I wanted him to go. Go ahead, Willie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just basically saying it's the culture, right? It's the, it's the, the mindset and, and the fact that we accept things. It's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a, it's a man's world or a misogynistic world where we have to, to be able to say that it's okay for men to, to have this, you know, this reputation. But then when it comes to the women, then it's, then it's a problem. And, and that's why I agree with you, Willie. But that's why I'm saying they accept that. They don't have to accept that reality. You see what she said? She just said, what are you going to do? Like, what you mean? I mean, it's, no, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, okay. Like, that's, you like, that's, like, that's like, like um, point. No, that's, that's like, okay. Say if I met this guy, right? I've been hanging out with him, whatever, like that, whatever. It's, it's fine and everything, right? Because it, it has happened. I, I told you about the situation last, last time I went on the podcast. This dude, I, went, like, I, I was dating him. I didn't know he dated my cousin. I did not know. We got all involved. And then it came out that he fucked her. Like, and then she, she made, like, they was like, buddy fuck buddies, whatever the case may be. And then it came out that it, they fucked each other. But it was after the fact of me already getting caught in your feelings. So for a female, if we're already emotionally attached to you, and you find you fuck somebody, it hurts, but at the same time, it's, it's like, okay, like, you, you, you got to choose whether or not you want to deal with that or not. But at that point, you already caught up. It's different if you, like, okay, I met this guy last night. We hanging out. I found out he fucked my, my, my best friend. Oh, that's not going to work out. That's different. You told my motherfuckers, don't, bitches don't be saying shit until later on. Right, right. I like, mean, it's, my, not like I, it's, it's not like I'm normally wanting to fuck somebody that somebody else I know fuck. It's like, okay, I fucked him. We well, we 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 been fucking, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like six months down the line, oh, you know I used to fuck. I'm like, bitch, are you serious? <laughs> okay, right. so what about so what about all the females who who dealing with a nigga, right? And any man, any man, dealing with any man, and you know he's sleeping around, but you still taking back. That's that's a, that's that's somebody else that want to do that. That's somebody that's accepting that everybody that's, 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 that's she ain't going nowhere. That's a subject. That's a that's that's a low self esteem subject. I mean that that's you talking. I mean if you if you if you know he's sleeping around. 
And but then some women will accept that. They will allow it because they feel like, oh, well, he's coming home to me, or oh, you know, he's taking good care of me, that kind of thing. But that's a that's a that's a, a mindset and a mentality situation, right? That's Where, it. That's uh, a whole other type of female because ain't no way yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be doing with you for years. And you're like, oh, well, I'm number one, bitch. No, I mean the only or we ain't shit. I ain't about to be. I ain't going to settle for all oh, life and that's a side check. That's not going to happen. Some females will accept that. Not everybody will accept that. Now, I, now that, and that, like, what is that? that? That's a whole other ball game. Like, my, that's, my that's is, a whole other type of thing. They ain't everybody. If, if, you know, if you know somebody very promiscuous going into the relationship, would you, would you still jump into it? Huh? If you know that your partner is very promiscuous, yeah. now I mean going into the relationship, you feel me? Would you still go into the relationship? I probably wouldn't go into the relationship. I'd probably hump on you, but I ain't. But I, we, we, we ain't gonna be together. You ain't gonna be my nigga saying, "Oh, nigga, we together." I know you humping everybody. So See, that's, and, the and, and well, that's, that's the same. That's the same question. That's the same thing. Then. But that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the point I'm saying. making. So you talking about no, no, no? You 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 talk, you talking yeah. about a relationship? You're talking about a whole relationship. You're talking about being with this person and trying to build something with this person. That's different. Like, if I'm like if I'm on some shit, like, if, if my mind says this, I want to fuck buddy, I don't just fuck. How many people you fuck? Ain't got nothing to do with me. That's, I don't right, care. That's, but that's, that's how if you I want to be with you, that's, 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 that's exactly. different. No feelings. That's not what I'm saying. You're not going to be catching no feelings. You're not going to be about to husband them or nothing. You're about to you just about oh, to no. what you want and be out. Exactly. Okay. But here, here's the question. This is what I'm saying. I mean, you find them, so I'm I'm good. The question is, going in, would you do you think it's appropriate, or do you care about the number of sex partners that the person you're talking to had before you? So I just asked you, if you know they're promiscuous, going into it, which means you ask them, or do you or you know that they sleep around a lot, would you enter a relationship? You said no. Yeah, no, I wouldn't enter a relationship. No, I would not. Okay, so then if you talk to somebody and you, and, you, and you talk to me and I'll be like, if you ask me a number, and I'll be like, man, that shit in a hundred somewhere. You feel me? Like something crazy. Cause you niggas be throwing out numbers like that recklessly. My number's in it. My number's in a hundred somewhere. Now, I mean, are you going to pursue that relationship? Well, I'm not, well, it's just like, first of all, I don't ask that question. That's not something. That's not a question that I. That's and that's 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 one of the other questions I pose. Would you even ask that question? That's not a question that I would ask somebody. And it doesn't matter. Like they can ask me, and I'm just I would, like if if I'm in the mood, I tell you. But like, it's not it's not a question that I would ask of somebody because I I look at I look at I look at something like this. Like we all grown people. Fuck. That's what happens. It just happens. Do I do Do I want to know exact number? No, I don't give a fuck. My main my main concern would be. Like if I'm asking questions, if I want to know something, I, I want to know that you're 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 like you're like living straight. You're not you're not like on the down low. You're you're not out there just other people without condoms. Right, right. I mean, like that's like that. Like I that. Mean, that's, I, think, that's, I, I think it becomes that would be my concern versus just trying to be like, oh well, let's let's let me hundred people you said, but that don't matter because you can speak with a hundred people and 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 be crisp and be and be safe. But you could you could be sitting with four people. In your whole entire life, and, and you got a whole bunch of shit going on. Right, true, right. true, very true, very true. I mean, it's all about safety. So, it's all about. I mean, then something you know when you when you so don't. So from that, good, you don't. My fault, my fault. Go ahead, go ahead, William. My bad. Oh yeah, I was just saying. You know, I, you know, it's about safety. It's also about you know. I mean, if you just, if you in it just for the sex, then you want to make sure that they good. You know, because just because they had a hundred partners, don't make them good. They could just they could just be lucky. They 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 don't make them good at it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I've had people who. Who are terrible? They just lay there and don't do nothing. But you know, I've I've had some that you know they they only get down one or two times, and that's and 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 they the bomb. They 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 do everything. But you know, if everybody's different. So, so I guess the real thing is you you really just don't want to know. Well, I don't like. I'm not going to ask you. Because, I, it's not it's not that I don't want to know. I just think that's a that's just a tacky ass question. Because yeah, at the end of the okay, day, petty. because at the end of the petty. day, like you know, niggas fuck. So, like, if I'm asking this man, I have to keep this up. Well, I already know your number going to be disrespectfully high. Like, you ain't know, like, unless you are a virgin, like, okay, wait, you wait, like wait, to wait, do wait, 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 you just said disrespectfully high. What's disrespectfully high? Give us give us a, a threshold. 
don't even know, but I mean, like, I don't think any number, any number past 50 was like, what number? Really, I'm, I'm having an issue with what she said, Willie. I'm having yeah, an issue. Yeah. So I'm I, I, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, because my, 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 cause listen, my first question was, you know what I mean, <laughs> about promiscuous, about being promiscuous. Yeah. And you said, well, if I know they're promiscuous, well, yeah, I'll just make them, i hump on them, but I want to get in a relationship. But then you say. I wouldn't have to. But you're missing but the point. Just said, no, then, no, no, you're missing the point. point. Go ahead. Nah, listen. My point is, you don't want to know. It, it, the difference is, if you know, is one thing. If you don't know, then it's like, all right, you know what I mean? I just don't want to know. Because you just said, if you knew that you don't have to know a number which, to know somebody humping on everybody. But you, I mean, I asked you for the number. I'm just telling you that you know they sexually active. Like, you know they yeah, like okay. you know, you know, You know they get around. You feel me? They, they could be safe or whatever. You just know. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about they straight and arrow, you know what I mean, protect themselves every time, they clean, whatever. But you know, they get around. You said you wouldn't get into a relationship, you'll just hump on them. Yeah. But but if they're promis- being promiscuous is the same thing as having a high number. Exactly. But you said if they have a high number, that. you don't know. So, so you just don't want to know. Well, I don't well, want. I mean, I'm not about to sit there and ask you to write the, the sit there. First of all, if you ask a dude how many people he slept with, he's probably gonna tell you like I lost count because as, as if like who fucking exactly. sits there one, two. Exactly. Or, That's what like, I'm saying. The number is irrelevant. The number is irrelevant. I agree with you. That question is irrelevant. Like how many? Like I, I don't like that question either. You feel right, me? Right. But, but you could ask. You know what I mean? You don't gotta ask a number. But you be like, you know what I mean? If you, you permissive, you like to sleep around a lot. That's something you want to know going into a relationship. I don't yeah, care you do want to know that. So, so you know, you probably don't have to directly come out and ask the number. You know what I mean? I agree. That's kind of tech. Like, how many? Like, come on now. Like, All right. Well, like, I, you know, but, you, but you, but you know, I think, I think people, I think people, you know, they get caught up, and especially younger people. I think this. I, I really think that question is asked by young people. You know what I mean? People that in their early twenties, teenagers, stuff like that. They ask those kind of questions. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you can't really gauge a person on a specific number of, about being promiscuous because they got so. You know, let's say they did ten people or twelve people or mm-hmm. maybe you. Know, I wouldn't say that they're promiscuous if they got time under their belt. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm yeah. 40 years old, so I I got I got a number, and, and my number is probably disrespectful. But <laughs> before I got disrespectful, before I got disrespectful, it was it was just a number, right? And it was just mm-hmm. it was just time. Time gets under your belt, and What's you just you it? do things. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, we we grown, we fuck, we do it. You know, we do what we want to do. So. Yeah. Um, you know, did that make me promiscuous? I, I, you know, in a way, maybe because I was having sex out of marriage, I was having sex, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, underage. Nah, that kind of stuff. I don't think but I don't think I don't, you I don't, was think, promiscuous. I don't I don't think it was, it was making me promiscuous. I was yeah. I was nah. you know, I was going into it not with the intent on only only smashing that one person that one time or whatever the case may be. Sometimes, you know, it just, that's just what happened. You know, either I didn't, either I didn't, I didn't shape up or she didn't shape up, you know, or it wasn't the right time or we didn't, we didn't click and connect, you know, outside of that. You know what I'm saying? So I think. Yeah, but then you got the people that that like to um, dip on uh, both sides of the fence. So then you really got to count like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Got to add some people I, up in here, right? Or or people or people who are cheating on their mate. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I never cheated on somebody I was dating. You know I had people cheat on me, but I never cheated on somebody I was dating. So it was like you know, and that's that what makes me promiscuous yeah. because I you know I I'm not mm-hmm. single and then I got to get out here or or what about no. them because they the ones they out here you know with two and three people that they kicking it with. So and it's that's not, what makes them promiscuous, right? So, right. Yeah. That's yeah, why I say my, like certain they number, but they certain number questions. might be low. They might they number yeah. might be real respectful. They might got seven under their belt. I got thirty five. I got fifty five. You got people that 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 bad but hopping on the same person for years. Yeah. If you single, my thing is if you single, right, you could do what you want. Right. But something Sarita said earlier, it's the way that you go about things. Right. You feel me? Now, if you like every weekend you trying to hump on a different person. 
You feel me? You on every scene, every weekend, trying to hump on a different person. You know, I can't rock with you. Right, right. Now, I mean, to me, that's that's being promiscuous because it's like you, you know, what I mean. Now, if you single, you could be single the same way. But if you got, you know, you got just one or two, like, and you just discreet with yours instead of just being all over the place. You know, I can respect that. Mm-hmm. I can respect that. But you, you know, what I mean, every every other every other weekend or every weekend, you got a different somebody you humping on. Like, nah. Like, nah, I need to know that going in. Right. I don't right. need to necessarily know the number, but I need to know what type of lifestyle you're going in, going into the relationship because, you know, I don't want to deal with that because there's already a high probability that you're going to step out because you can't help yeah. yourself. Yeah. You know, and that goes both ways. That goes for males and females. Exactly. You know I mean? So, like, that's why I tell you, like, you know, i got sisters, so, like, I always tell them, look how they're living. Mm-hmm. You feel right, me? Right. Like if, if if you see that nigga with a different fe- like don't no dude like a female that's in all a whole bunch of dudes face, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So you gotta think if if a dude don't like a, a female all up in dudes in a dude's face, he's definitely not going to like that female. She fucking the majority of them dudes. That's even worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's the same thing with a dude. If you see a dude, he got all these females around him. You feel me? And he and he smashing most of them. Like that's not the dude you want to be. You you want to be with. Right. You feel me? Because yeah, you got a lot you know of drama. I, mean? I don't want to be because you know them dudes be arguing, especially on social media. You always arguing and getting the arguments and this, that, and the third all up on Facebook, especially because a lot of people do a lot of shit on social media now. So you got all this chaos with you. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't care what's going on. I don't got time for that. Like that's that's a red flag that he ain't living right, and I don't want no part. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true too. That's true too because, I mean, a lot of people they 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 like that drama. They like that that atmosphere of of, of confusion and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's that's, that's no that's no way to live. That's no way to 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 definitely no way to progress a relationship. That's for sure. Yeah, but okay. So then my next question would be this: So when you know back a while back when people used to tell people that number, when females used to tell guys that number, they used to always say. The, they, 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 the guys had to do the math, subtract, um, add 10, subtract some shit, you know. That's what y'all used no, to right, do. Right, right, right. So, like, yeah, why is it five, that, five, yeah, like, yeah, like, why do guys not believe a female when they tell them a number? Because females, because females lie about that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> no, but exactly. you know what? But but this goes again. This goes again back to the simple fact that we live in a man's world where guys are allowed to be out there and women aren't, right? So a woman feels like she has to mask that 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 lifestyle, or she has to minimize that lifestyle. Most women will reduce, you know, the, the number to try to make herself look more pristine, you know what I'm saying, especially when she's trying to get involved with a guy and she wants to seem like she's, you know, she's not, you know, out just out there, right? So, because most guys are going to be judgmental about the fact that, oh, you've been with, you know, 20 guys, really, you know, what's, what's wrong with you, you know, that kind of mess or or whatever the case may be. You know, I mean, there's some women out there that's strong enough to be like, look, I, you know, I, I'm out here because I love, I love what I do and I do what I want to do because I'm grown, blah blah blah, and and that's fine, you know. But not every guy's gonna think that's fine. Not every, not every woman, especially you know, most women when you know they get to a certain age and they get to a certain s- situation in life, they definitely don't want that that atmosphere because you know it becomes a hindrance or it becomes like a. Uh, um, a target on their back, you know what I'm saying, and they feel like they don't want that that hurt that headache, you know what I'm saying. They don't want that headache. They don't want that drama that comes behind that um, from both men and, and women, you know what I'm saying, uh, of all ages. So you you know it, it, it becomes a, a a self a self care situation at that point, you know, trying to look out for themselves, a the CYA. So you know it, it it just you automatically just have to assume like you know if she tell you five. She at least got fifteen. She tells you <laughs> three. She at least got twelve. <laughs> no, but see, here's here's my thing with the no, female. And, 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 and then and then what and then what they count like you know like yeah that's yeah. what I'm about to say, Willie. I gotta, because I got, I got, I got, I got female got, friends that 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 will tell me. <laughs> yeah, no, I got females that tell me my female friends. I had this one friend. She used to just her number. She used to be lying like like lying ridiculously and like you lying and I'm right in front of you. I looked at you. I. 
I don't went on some missions like with you. Like don't <laughs> like you lying. And I was there. Like I think that I was there. Like we we were on missions together. Like I had to take something for the team. Like you know, like like niggas do it. Females had to do it too. Like I was trying to be, you know, the one that was cop blocking the dude that was cop blocking. I had to be, you know, occupy him. Not to say I had to fuck him, but I had to like kind of act like I liked him so he could leave other fucking ones so he could do the fuck they was doing. But like you gonna sit there and lie like I ain't sitting there. You kind of tell me because his dick little it don't count because he only put it in. And once it don't count. First of all, if there's any insertion, you fucked him. Whether or not it was good or not, that's that's, that's irrelevant. That, right. that, that is a body. If you had oral sex, that is sex. That is a whole nother body. Like, you can't, he fucked you in the ass, that's what? That's that's another body. Like, you can't just say, oh, well, <laughs> you know, oh, he put, people will say, I bet, so it don't matter. No, bitch, it do. He, you had sex. Like, that, whether you liked it, it doesn't matter. Like, I've been heard so many different things when we have conversations with female friends and they just make up some shit. Like, oh, but that don't, bitch, everything counts. If you suck his dick, guess what? It counted. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why I do the state there. Because, first of all, you know what I mean? The first thing that goes through a dude with mine when he find out, oh, she got body? Let me see if I can, you know what I mean? Let me see. Especially if she attractive, and he and he know he lo- and she loose, he gonna be on it. Now, if a female, you know, you know she ain't she ain't got that many body, and you like, oh man, she, she stuck up. You feel me? So that's why fe- dudes think females lie because she like he like now nah, I know I know how she act. You feel me? And like I know she's sleeping around. You feel me? So I know this number, she's talking about two. Like, nah, it's probably like seven, eight, something like that. You feel me? But if a female, you know, that don't get down like that and you say a number, you might respect it because you know her. You know how she moves. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It won't be like that with every female. You just, right, right. Certain females you know. Like, you know how they act, you know how they move. You're like, yeah, she got bodies on her belt. <laughs> she lying. She lying right now. But you, but you, but you know, me? but you know what's sad she, though is that is that you make those assumptions both ways sometimes incorrectly. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't met, I don't met women that I thought was like like pristine. Like they, 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 they were untouchable, and then come to find out that you know they know, got no. they, they got they deep. They knee deep. <laughs> they knee oh, deep yeah. in body. Yeah. You know? yeah, I never, I never, I, I, I never think they're they untouchable or pristine. Like, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean. You think you be thinking like, like if she told me two, I would believe two. I, I might give her three, just, 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 to, just to add to the thing. But I would never think of nothing more. No, they find out they got fifteen or they built or they, yeah. they, they out there. Yeah. Are they out there? You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. And then the other way around, you know, you see a chick. You know, I knew this. I knew this one chick that was a uh, that was a dancer, and you know, she when she did her thing, she did her thing. But when she went home, she went home, and she, she like she didn't even she didn't even like she didn't even like sex like that. Her thing was she like she knew she had a body, she knew she had talent, she could dance. She was really a she was really a classical dancer, but she just had that body that everybody wanted to throw dollars at. So she did that for a living for like ten years to make that money. And but you know, I mean, I knew this girl personally. Yeah, there are some teams out how there. She, you know, and right, and and that was her thing. It's like she she had one boyfriend for like eight years, eight years. Never cheated on him, never did anything. So that's all she ever kicked it with was one dude for eight years. So it's like you know, we 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 make our assumptions, you know, but sometimes those assumptions can be wrong, based all based on perceptions, you know. Mhm. Yeah, I think you know, I think we like as women, we do uh, we 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 do uh, see that most dudes hopping on everybody. I know I do, and that's my, maybe not that's maybe that's not good. But that's what I believe. I believe niggas just be humping on that, not just like, and I say niggas not like just black folk, just all dudes be fucking everybody. So I just assume your numbers is past a hundred. Like that's just that's just how I'm walking this. Like, <laughs> and that's crazy. Hey, and it's funny you say that because as a man, you know that's not true. Like, as a man, look at that other man. Like you know that's not true. Like niggas, niggas be lying. You feel me? No, like, and they do. Be. They do. Like you dudes will be lying, and that's the sad part. I remember I, I had this wrong, this dude I knew that that he had everybody who believed when you had sex. Like I'm talking, like he even had this girlfriend was arguing with me. Like I, I sat with him, and I'm, I finally said, well, let's sleep. Let's come out and sleep together then. 
Because, bitch, I don't even know what look like. What, what am I arguing about? I need to see what's happening because I need to argue with something. And, like, I don't know what the situation was, but people, niggas, niggas do lie, and um, sometimes females lie. You, you'd be surprised. But I think dudes lie more than females about getting some, but females do lie. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, we all lying. We all lying in the opposite direction. <laughs> Females lowering the number, guys increasing the number. When you, you talk to a, you talk to a guy who say he got more than more than more than thirty or forty, you you better you, you better take you better knock a few off. <laughs> yeah, he, count, yeah, he, count, yeah, he, he, he yeah. counting dancing on the floor, uh, humping on the floor, uh, on the dance floor. <laughs> I, I, I done heard dudes throw out some crazy numbers, bro. I'd be like, what? Uh, <laughs> right. Throw out numbers in the hundreds, the thousands. I'd be like, what? Damn, when they say wild, that's what I'd be like. Bro, <laughs> you need to slow, like either you need to slow down or you need to quit lying to me. Just, just one or the other, <laughs> or both actually. Yeah. yeah, don't ever say that. Niggas is reckless out here, man. That's why. Yeah, but people, people, people are reckless. People don't care about. Yeah. People just, just be doing what they're doing. And like I said, you, you respect it for what it is. Like you do what you want to do. You grown. But just be, just be smart about your decisions. That's that's all I would say. Well, because, I think you know, it's shit, this. Shit is real. Don't get mad. Like, listen, everybody not – you can't get mad at somebody look at you crazy if you're sleeping with everybody. Everybody don't like that. Right. You can't get everybody to accept that. So, you know, it's going to be people that judge you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're going to do it, all right, cool. If you don't got no problem with it, if you got confidence in yourself, all right, cool. Just know somebody's going to look at you like you a hoe right. or a man right. whore. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's That's a fact. Right. You can't get around that. You feel me? You gotta accept that. Everybody don't agree with that lifestyle. You can't get everybody to agree with it. You feel yeah. me? Like, Hold on, guys. We, we, we got a caller. I think I know who exactly who it is. Did I press a button? Did I press the goddamn button? Oh, there we go. Is that right? No. Hello? Hey, Kiana. Hey, Kiana. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Good. I'm actually up this time. So I said, let me go. Hey, um, Queen, what's going on? <laughs> it's a little something. QB in the building? I know, finally, right? Um, Y'all got some good right. points. Um, But I don't see why anybody got to be considered a hoe or a whore. Like, with, I'm single and I have a healthy sex life. That's it. And honestly, ain't none of your fucking business who I'm sleeping with and how many people I slept with. Get a test. Make sure your ass ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. And keep it moving. Why bring up shit and cause problems for no reason? Mind your business. That's how I feel oh. about it. True, true. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with we that. Grown. We got to be, be grown. Exactly. But the point is, like, some, people, you, some people don't go agree with that, yourself. and we, we got to accept that. And for those people, like, why are you so concerned with how many people somebody has slept with? Like, that's really mental. You should be concerned about some other shit. Like, did you kill somebody? That's what yeah. I want to know. Are you a, <laughs> are are you a fucking criminal? Do you, sell, <laughs> like, like, do you sell drugs? Do you have health benefits? Are you, you on the road? Exactly. Like, like, it's a little shit you can be asking somebody other than <laughs> How many people you've been with? Who cares? A lot. Like, I've been with enough, I got a baby. How about that? Right, right. Yeah, like I said, like I said I've earlier, done I, think it that's a, I think that's a young thing. That's a that's a that's a, that's something people say when they're young, when they when they they you know they a teenager, they in they they twenties, you know. I mean, I ain't really I ain't really ran into nobody over thirty talking about what's your number. I've never. I, I, you know, me personally. I mean, I guess I can't speak for everybody, but me personally, I ain't ran into me that. Either. You know, after thirty. Me no, they be like. I had somebody in my late twenties ask me that. It's probably immature. Ask you, yeah. <laughs> that nigga was immature. Why you want to know? I date boys. <laughs> I do date young though. I do date younger. Oh, I do. Okay. That I do. I get me. I'm a. I'm not a cougar yet because I'm not that I'm not letting older than anybody date that was not ready. <laughs> not now. Shut up. Mind your business. Not at this uh, particular uh, moment. No. <laughs> maybe maybe a three year difference right now, but you know, shut up. Yeah. But, <laughs> I did it. That's that not later. so bad. We gotta talk about that later. Uh, uh, yeah, we all, young we, when they when they just you know they ready. You know. Don't we all agree. <laughs> oh, not 
we all agree that 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 question is is off limits. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, right, right, right. What, what other questions are off limits have... in that round? Ooh, what other questions? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, really. I mean, How many really, abortions? No, no, no. Okay. You know what? Damn. You know what, Clay? Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, think oh, I, mean, I don't know. That. That's, probably, that's probably inappropriate. <laughs> I think that's kind of How many babies Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, Hold on buddy. Hold on, buddy. Went petty and he's shady. Because he's he something in. He can tell com- how many abortions. You know how many abortions. <laughs> like, he ain't never heard of that before. What you mean? How am I shady? How am I shady? But that was, cause, cause the, the way you said it, you snuck it in like real quick. Like, and then the question's off limit. You know, how about abortion? I'm, 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 I'm asking. asking. That's, I was just asking a question. Uh, I've never heard nobody ask that question yeah. before. I can That's guarantee, true. I can guarantee <laughs> most females will be probably like, what? Because they done took the pills. They done got, they done did it all. That's what I'm saying. Like, how yep. many Plan Bs have you taken? How many appointments have you had? Because <laughs> Plan Bs count. Exactly, that would count. I mean, right. Nobody go count that Plan B. They are gonna be like, well, I, I didn't know for sure. I just, I took it just in case. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that was just. We are gonna make it official. Plan Bs are count. What was it? If you knew you were pregnant, what you thought you might have been pregnant, if you <laughs> right, had sex right. night before, and you, 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 you officially. Took an abortion pill, so that counts. Exactly, exactly. If you if you pushed if you yep. pushed that mug back out, <laughs> it might count. <laughs> uh, you know what? Okay. I can't even tell. <laughs> but I can't think no, of anything but... else. As the, oh, that abortion cu- shit is off limits, but I can't really think of nothing <laughs> yeah, that's, that's outside of that. And you know, I can't think of anything you know that's kind of. Honestly, honestly, know. like. I guess this is all, like, when you, I think what get lost in this is when people get into a relationship, I think the vetting process has changed over the years. You feel me? I think more people jump into to a sexual relationship first and then, yeah. you know, get to know the person come later. You feel me? Because you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I think, I think p- p- more people should get to know each other. It's certain things because, you know, it's certain things you really don't know about a person unless you ask. You know, I understand, you know, like like we, we just went over, like, asking that number, asking how many partners a person has, like, you know that's immature. But like you said, you still want to know if that per- the lifestyle that person lives in. Right, you don't right. care how many people they sleep with, but you want to care, you, you care about how they handle their business. I don't care what nobody yeah. does. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I think a are you yeah. question yeah. to the men should be, are you, are you living on a down low? Because a lot of niggas that fucking other niggas and won't say nothing. So yeah. that should be a Word. question that should be allowed to ask. Nigga, are you dating? Are you fucking dudes? Are you getting fucking ass? Are you fucking ass? <laughs> I have questions. That's, right, that's right. a legitimate question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's a very valid question. I'll tell you the truth. But they, but yeah, they definitely need to. They definitely need to be asked. And then, the, the, I mean, do you? I don't care, but I don't want to be a part of that. Right. I mean, the other thing is, 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 about, is right. about loyalty and respect to a relationship. You know, it's like you know, uh, you know, you you run into so many people, men and women, who don't respect the relationships they in. You know, they 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 have no problem stepping out, doing doing whatever they want. And it's like, you know, are we really in this relationship together, or you gonna be out there with somebody else? You know, if I we get in an argument, are you gonna go out there and get your dick sucked? Are you gonna go out there and and and, and smash old dude because you pissed at me? You know, so. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be, you know, some respect to the relationship and some respect to each other. You know, I, I don't, I, I'm but not I gonna judge that. and say it's a respect to yourself, but I'm gonna say at least, at least respect this relationship. People don't respect the relationship, but like he was saying, I think people are just disappointed. They don't want to be disappointed in a sexual relationship, and that's why they jump into that so fast. They don't want to waste time getting to know somebody, and then they do it, and they're like, "Oh my God, that was so terrible." The whole last time to right. somebody. That's how people are thinking. Like, we all mm-hmm. adults here, you're supposed to know. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. people feel like they yeah. don't have time. Like, that's like, that's, so that's, that's how people, that people, people, getting, people getting married and just moving in together after they get married. People move in together now because they, they want to know how that person living. Right, true, true. Right. Cause, I mean, because that could, that could, that could be an incompatibility. That's true. Not live with somebody See, that's why I don't really, like, married, that's why right. I don't really, like, a lot of, I know a lot of people that got married for the wrong reason 
You feel me? Like, my thing when it comes to stuff like that, like, you really got to go through stuff with people. Like, you really got to know something about somebody. Because when you take those vows mm-hmm. for sickness and the health, you know what I mean, to death do you part, they're supposed to mean something. You feel yeah. me? That's, yeah. deeper than, that's shit deeper than sex. You know what I mean? Sex don't even come into the equation when it's shit like that. Because if somebody, yeah. something right. happened to somebody, you if something happened to you, you feel me, you get sick. You want that love, per- your, your 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 mate to be to take care of you, to hold right. you down. You, you don't want that do, to look at you. you well, damn, this bitch can't that. have sex with me no more. <laughs> so let's right, right. Out. You feel me? Exactly. Like nah. You right. so, when you you let, so, so when you searching for a relationship, like you, it, that shit got to go deeper than that. It got to get so much deeper right. than that. You you, nah. you want to hope and pray that the person you end up with. Is gonna be there for you no matter what, but uh, but in reality, some people just are not that type of person. You you're not gonna know that until you actually get into that situation. So yeah, you might think yeah. you grind it out to death until something happens, and they ain't the person that can necessarily handle that, and they can just bounce. And that's what the people are. Right. That's what people are afraid of of not knowing. And people gotta get over it. Right. Because guess what? Yeah, Everybody ain't meant to be together forever. Even if you took those vows, some people are just not meant to stay in your life forever. They have served their purpose. And you gotta know when to let yeah. go. Regardless of those vows, I mean, you gotta that, let it's, it's sad, know when to let go. Yeah, I mean that's facts. Yeah. That's yeah. and a lot of that because come from not get not knowing yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. true. Yep. Exactly. exactly. And, and then not knowing your person, then not, not knowing person. your mate. Because yeah. cause you really can't know them. Like, you, like that's what, you really can't love them if you don't love yourself first. You know what I mean? A lot of people around here don't love themselves. They're looking for love. They're looking exactly. for somebody to, <laughs> to love them, to validate them. Right. Exactly. Instead of validating exactly. themselves. And unfortunately, so we, things over time change, right? Things over time yeah. change. I mean, I knew a couple that were... I mean, you you were you were swear those people was gonna be together forever. They went through so much early on in their relationship. Midway through their relationship, they had kids, they had ups, they had downs. They made it through those ups and downs, uh, both you know emotionally, financially, physically. You know, one was sick, other was sick, that kind of thing. And you just you just thought that that was gonna be that that was that relationship from the outside looking in looked like it was gonna be there on lock forever. But after so long. The dude just just couldn't handle it no more. He just couldn't take it no more, and and because he was he was at a place in his life where he felt like he could do better, or he could do, or he or he couldn't handle what was going what what they were going through, and he bounced. And and it's sad because you think about how how people, you know, they show you one thing and then they change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's one thing. It's one thing to tell you something and then can't can't fulfill you you see that all the time because people people throw words out there like it ain't nothing they just throw words out there just to say them and then their actions never line up but it's another thing when you see people change on you and they and they go from being supportive or being there for you or being you know that number one and they they in there they sticking behind you they got your back and then they just they just they just you know fall by the wayside or they just like you know they they can't handle it no more because because things get you know a little bit harder or or whatever the case may be and it's sad because you like I I thought we I thought we had this I thought it was going the right way right you know and and and, and sometimes it almost is until they they reach their limit you know and and not everybody knows their limit like you said Clint you know some people don't know themselves so they don't even know hey, the limit hey, for hey, themselves hey. to be able to tell that next person hey. I'm a, I'm gonna be here for you up until here. <laughs> At this point, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and who really wants to tell their mate that? Not everybody wants to tell their mate that. But sometimes you gotta be truthful. You gotta be truthful in a relationship. You gotta be truthful yeah. to yourself and say, hey, I know my limits. My limits is this X, Y, and Z. You know, I mean, I I, I know me myself. You know, I, I'm the kind of person that I think I I would just. I would just be there for that person. I but I that's because I, I I've kind of explored that thought process. What, like what would I do what, in these situations? You know what, Willie, some people you know don't think that far. Most people don't think that far. You know they don't, I want they everybody, don't even think about it. I want everybody that's out there that's listening. You feel me? That's in a relationship right now. Look at their partner and ask yourself. Say your partner get third to fourth degree burns on themselves right now. Their whole body. Would you still stick it out with them? Ask yourself that, and be honest Mine's with yourself. You really sitting out there like, man, hell no. Well, 
<laughs> but see, but see, sometimes, sometimes yeah. you you can't really answer in that mo- in that big moment. It's just like what right. happens when you when it happens. Like shit happens, real li- like like you never know. Somebody yeah. walk outside and get hit by a bus, and that's your mate, and you gotta be there for them from that point on, and you gotta go through all that. Like that's mm-hmm. a stressful situation to do. Still, my especially if they especially if they were the breadwinner or the the person that made that brought the most income in the house, and now they can't do it. That's financial stress. That's regular stress. With if you got kids involved, that's just mm-hmm. a whole relationship stress. So it's a lot, and it's easy to say that. It's easy to say that you'll be there, but you really won't know unless you're in the thick of it. And then you really, whether the term was not, you can actually do it because people say they can do things that they really can't fucking do. And I don't even know if I can do it, but I know that's the type of stuff I think about. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Because cause life throw curveballs at you every day. You feel me? And you, you know, are you built mm-hmm. strong enough to yeah. deal with them? You feel me? You gotta know yourself. And that's like even with like, a, and I can go back to where with my son, but that's my son. Like going through what with him, that was a complete surprise. Did I know that? If I ever think about that, and if, ahead of time, no, I didn't think about that. What it happened, and I dealt with it. But not everybody can like. Even I got people saying, "Oh, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't know what to do if I was in a situation." And, and then to me, it, it wasn't even a thought. It's not that I can think about if I can do it or not. I just had to do it. It had to be done. So I looked at it as it has to be done. So I've, so I've been doing it. But a lot of people, even that can break relationships. That can break a lot of stuff because people can't deal with it. They think they can deal with it, but they can't. It's stressful, but you you have the mindset. Like, it depends on your mindset because, like I said, I look at that situation like it's something that I can't not do. I have to be here. I have to be here all all full circle, and that's just how I took it. But and I'm, and When you jump into a relationship, Whoever you get into a relationship has to have that same mindset with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody. Because that's a, and, and I say that that's a lot. Like, and I told the dude that I'm, I'm, I've been talking to since for a good while. I said that's something that you have to. I said I said you got to see him at work. You got to see him as best because you you have to learn how to be able to deal with that. Like you can say you can deal with it, but this right. one, I want to see you in action. Exactly. Exactly. But that's the thing, like, that's the thing that you have to deal with, so, like, that you don't know with your mate unless it happens. Like, you either had a mindset, either I'm going to be here or fuck this, this is too goddamn much, and you're going to go. And it sucks because you hate to let somebody down, but it is what it is. If you can't, like, right. you can't help somebody if it's, if it's too much for you, and you Sometimes really feel like you, you can't handle that. Both of y'all. Huh? Right. Right. Sometimes you got to walk away for the both of y'all. Yeah, because they can't right. Somebody got to be strong enough to walk away from a situation that's toxic. Yeah. You know, some, you know, because some people stay in toxic situations because, like I said, they don't love themselves, so they they think being attached to that other person validates them. Yeah, I had to walk. I had to do that too. I had to do that with my last relationship. It was I. I tried to be there through this whole course, and I was like, I can't do this shit. And it wasn't just that, it just wasn't just the situation, it was the stress of the situation and what that person was putting on me. And I was like, yeah, you know, I can't deal with this. I got enough shit going on. I don't got time for that shit. So I had to choose, and that relationship lost, but my son won, so it is what it is. Not that I, and I, I walked well, away with, with, with the, I had a conversation. It was cordial, and it was, you know, you had to have that conversation. I looked, I can't do this. I got this going on. Especially you, you going to understand that I don't got time for this shit. And it, it, it wasn't like that, like cutthroat, but it was it was it was basically that summed it up. It was like I can't deal with your shit, and I got to deal with this shit. It's it's two stressful things. I'm picking one, and one is more deserving of this situation, so it's not gonna work no more. And that's just how it was. And that's real shit. And he ain't got to, you can't do nothing but respect that. And if you don't respect that, bye. Yeah, that was amicable. That was respectful. Right. Yeah, like I I was honest about it like this. I can't like, but they say you have to learn. Whether or not, like, and I thought I was going to be there forever. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not. And, you know, you think that walking in, and then when you realize that this shit, like, I had a lot of shit happening within one year. And I was like, yeah, no, this, at the end of my first point, I was like, either this, either we're going to end up hating each other or, you know, something about to happen. So let me just cut this off right now because this ain't going to work. But you have to know your limits. You have to be up front. You have to communicate. You have to do all that. And if it's too hard for you, but that, see, but and then then there's a lot of people that like say if you get somebody, you, your husband or your mate or whoever you're dating and get sick, and you know you, some some people don't reach out and ask for help. You don't have to take things on yourself. Like I understand, I understand that that's, that's another one, and they're sick, but there's people that can come into the home to help out, take less stress off you. A lot of people take on things by themselves. 
and then it becomes mm-hmm. stressful, and then you walk away where you could have had help, but you was on some, oh, no, I got this. They, I'm not, they're not going to need nobody else. You you need people. Right. You need people to keep you sane, so when you feel like you can't do it, you need somebody to swoop in and come help you out so you can come back with a, a clear head and, and continue on. People people forget that because you need to create yourself of the stress because you, you can't, like, it's stressful on you. Not let alone this person, so you have to kind of get the help that you're afforded, make sure that they have help, and it's going to help you too. But people take on things by themselves, and that's how come they get stressed out. That's how come they walk away. Not in all situations, but in some situations, that's how it happens. Did I lose everybody? <laughs> oh, no, no, we're here. We here. No. Yeah. I, I, I was vibing with you. I was vibing right, with you. Right, right. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's, that's some real shit, though. It's like I, I actually, I dated somebody, um, and it was long distance or whatever. But I knew he had like health problems, but I didn't know the extent of the problems until we got like six months into it. And getting six months into it, it was like, oh, I have memory problems, like memory problems where I don't remember my address and I might call you cause and I need you to tell me where I live at. And I'm all the way in what? And he's all the way in Little Rock and I'm here in New Jersey oh, and I got to wow. remember your address. Yeah. And then it's like times where I didn't hear from him like for a day or two. Oh, well I blacked out and I will, I didn't, you know, I'm just now waking up and I don't know what happened and stuff like that. And then I've been throwing up blood and I'm like, listen, we six months into this, you sound like you dying. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm doing it. Like, I'm like, like that. That's like that. That's cool. Huh? I'm not laughing. It's not that hard. Like, is that cool? Yeah, that's, that's how but I no, felt like, oh my God, what is going on? Right. It was just right. crazy. Nah, I, I just feel the bad when she tells the story, man. <laughs> I was like, I can't. And, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, it's a lot. Like, I'm not even there with you. And it's a lot. Like, I can't. I can't. And, you right, know, I right. tried to be friends with him. We were still friends. And then one day, you know, I hit him up. I'm like, you know, how are you? And he was like, yeah, I'm dying. And... I was like, oh, my God, and I felt like shit. I really did. I felt like shit, but then he was like, people stop talking to me because of that, and you know what? I did. I stopped talking to him again because I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Right. Like, seriously, but you knew your limits. I, I mean, that, there you go. You knew your limits, right? You knew your limits, and you, and you, you, you took action. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry that this is happening to you. Like, but I can't do it. I can't. I wish you the best, but I cannot do it. I felt like shit, though. I yeah, I mean you can't you can't blame yourself for 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 knowing for knowing what you can handle what you couldn't handle. Not everybody can handle that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think right. it's, I, I I I think it's best to to realize what your limitations are in a relationship and in a situation and be able to tell that person, hey, you know this is this is too much for me or I can't handle this and and I have to move on. I mean if you if you if you just straight like was in a relationship with the guy and abandoned him, that'd be different. But you, you didn't just abandon I mean, I just heard about that. It was like on Charlemagne's show, giving to somebody, some lady donkey today, because she, she literally abandoned her paraplegic boyfriend in the woods for him to die. But, um, you know, wait, that's next wait. level. I mean, that, when your, when, when, when your, when, when, when your limit <laughs> caused you to commit a murder, that's just, that's too much. But you know, if, if you say, that's, you know, look, that's this, not a limit, this is though. too much for me and I, and I, and I'm going to, and I'm going to have to just step away from this relationship because, or this, or this, or this friendship or whatever the case may be, because it's just too much on me. I mean, some people, they can't handle that right. in their spirit. They can't handle that in they, and they, and they, and they psyche, you know, because it just affects them too much. They just feel like it's just too much on them, right? You know, it's a stress. She broke. She broke. She broke. Six months. She broke. She, 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 she broke. She broke. She broke mentally. The leader. She left home in the woods. Like, yeah, she broke. She broke. Like, that's crazy. That pressure got to her. Like, she snapped. You feel me? She wasn't thinking. She ain't snapped. That's why she had no limit. 
She was yeah, like, he won't go it. anywhere, so I'm going to help him. That's what she did. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's what she that's did. Mm-hmm. That has yeah, had no limit, that. okay? <laughs> the limit right. is, let me stop this before I get there. She took it all yeah. away. Right, right, okay. yeah. That's why that's why communication is key, and you have to know, like you said, know your limits and communicate that this is too goddamn much. Hold on, guys, we got a call. Hold on, <clears throat> Carla, you on the line? Hello, how y'all doing? Hello. Hello, how y'all doing? Nah, bro, what's good, baby? <laughs> hey, yo, I like to know what the topic for the night is. Oh, uh, we we already passed that, but it's what is 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 what's your sexual um what's your sex number? And basically, was asking like, does the does the does the number of sexual partners your mate or spouse or whoever had um does the be the is it a deciding factor if their relationship material? If that made sense, because I kind of oh. like top the shit out of that. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, it does make kind of sense, uh, but uh. Yeah, that's a good topic. <laughs> uh, you missed all the so, fun. So, so let me uh, ask you so: if, if a girl asks you that question, how you gonna respond? Multiply three. You want number hundred niggas? He want number hundred dudes. Right, right. It's disrespectful. Just, just say it's disrespectful. Go ahead and let her know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, yo, it's bad disrespectful, man. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, nah, yeah. you know, you know that that's you gotta you gotta you gotta be able to know the personal. I mean, you got you know, you gotta be able to know the person. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, emotionally, and you know what I'm saying. You gotta get to know the personal. You know a lot more deep before you can answer that question. But um, if it's somebody that you want to be with long term, then that's definitely, you know, a topic that's, you know, that got to be talked about. But if it's somebody like, you know, one night stand, I'm not answering that question. So would you ask a female that question? On a one night stand? Hell yeah. No, 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 no. Would, would you ask yeah. a girl that you're trying to intend on dating, would you ask her how many people she slept with? It depends on how many kids she got, first of all. <laughs> See, so how old are you? No. How old are you? I'm 25. You? I'm 25. That's exactly. Willie. Did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? If these tw- Willie, he's he little baby. So little baby to ask questions back then. Willie, right. Like that. I told you, it's, all, it's the 20, it's the, it's the 30 and unders, baby. It's the 30 and unders. <laughs> They're the only ones who care about that kind of stuff. We don't care about that. Once you get over thirty years old, yeah, your, right? your time, your time, and your and your experience is what's important. It's not about it's not about numbers. Oh. It's not about what kind of liquor you drink. It's not what kind of car you drive. Nobody care about that stuff. I, worry about I mean, you hopefully you drive a car. <laughs> I know, right? Which which want to know that you're clean and clear and and you living your life right? That's all we want exactly. to know. You ain't do you believe do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? Is your credit score is your credit score over six six fifty? And do you uh, have tax benefits? Do you have do you, do you, have you invest? Care? Right. Do you do you know how to invest your money? If if you can't answer them questions, I don't really care about nothing else. Yeah, I know he's fucking with you, well, right? I know <laughs> people got all the cool motives. I know. You know <laughs> I will tell your motive. She was all tell your motive. So if you answer that question, she lied to you. Do you believe her, or you? I mean, or you find out for yourself? We, because people can well, lie. We ask them. Do you know don't no believe me? No, no way. What's the formula, Clint? Y'all gonna die? Whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever it's number she gives you, you got to multiply by three. Right. Do <laughs> <laughs> don't believe? Do uh, don't believe three. females? And then females think that baby dicks don't count. They don't, they don't think that oral sex counts. All that shit counts. If it was an assertion in your mouth, ass, any type of hole, guess what? Y'all fucked. It happened. What if it was just so it counts. Count. Whatever, yeah. whatever the clinic say. Whatever the clinic say. Whatever the clinic say. If she go to the clinic, she burning. She had multiple partners times <laughs> ten. <laughs> he said multiple times ten, day. You know what? I what, can't, if, what, I what can't. if it was her first and only gave her that burn? <laughs> Unless you the one that burning her. Exactly, because oh, well, you can be helping yeah. everybody too. She has, she, but she's, you gotta ask her. 
You know what you like, like we said, it was like we said car. earlier, we said you know, dudes, we, car, dudes lie about this. You go buy a car, you got to ask for the Carfax. You go buy a car, you got to ask for the Carfax, you got to ask for the whole fax. Right. You know what? That's exactly why That's why you're going to have the problems you have in, in your life. <laughs> no, but see, but see the Carfax, because you want to know if that car has been in any accidents. The point you you asking her how many partners ain't giving you the information you need. What's going to give you the information you need? The whole fact is taking that bitch to the doctor. That's the information that you need. Not how many partners she had. Because she can only have two partners. Because she can see with two people and still get an STD. It's real. It happens. But she can have a thousand partners and be clean and not have a damn thing. So, yeah, the number really doesn't matter. Still, I still, really, I, 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 you, I, 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 Tiana, 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 I, I agree with you. I ride with you, sweetheart. But you, she got a thousand partners. I still, I can't do it. <laughs> you, but you, you ain't know me. You gonna ask her? Nah, I ain't gonna ask. You're not gonna say this. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm just saying. Let me tell you what I would do. If a dude asks that question. If a dude asks that question, right, if I ever meet a dude that be like, hey, man, how many people you slept with? I'm going to say 2,000 and just walk off. Like, yeah, we're done. <laughs> and he's going to be like, this is going to say 2,000? No. I'm going to say some old 2,500, nigga. That's how many people I slept with. I fucked everybody. Right. And just walk right, off. Now, sorry. Now, now, sorry. Now, sorry. Sorry. Imagine you ask me that question, right? Imagine you just joking around. And you ask the dude you're talking <laughs> to that question. He'd be like, a 1,000. And then he'd be like, but I'm serious. A I'm gonna ask. Can we go to Unplanned Parenthood and, and make sure? <laughs> like we have to. Be, be, be the Planned Parenthood. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Let's I take a visit to Planned Parenthood at the date night. Thank you so much. <laughs> For real. Like, so listen, uh-huh. listen though. Niggas these days, dudes these days, is worrying about if the butt is fake before they even ask that question anyway. Right. Yeah. Nah, y'all no, be loving no, that face. A lot of going on. Nah, 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 nah. We not, we not, we don't, we do not love that face shit. That's that, that's 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 what y'all do. No, that's what I y'all, that's like, what y'all be watching on TV. But in real what? life, real dudes do not like that face shit. Do not like that face shit. I would hope not do because not. it don't look attractive. It looks old. I'm about to say, I ain't got no face, but I don't have a butt at all. But you know, I got a standard issue that back with the crap. But you know, love you know what's crazy. But you know what's hold crazy on, about on, that? On, on, you know what's crazy about that? Since he brought that up, a lot of a lot of those females don't be having. A lot of people be. You know what I mean, some of those females' bodies be real. Some of them females just be getting a lot of hate. You feel me? You could tell when the person body fake, booty fake. You know what I mean, especially you know, that they ain't. I, I, I must be an exception to the rule because I, I don't I don't care I I, I I'll take I'll take them in hand to do I don't really care. <laughs> hey, hey, they, they, enhance, they enhance everything else. Why why we gotta stop now? Why we gotta stop now? <laughs> they enhance the hair, the makeup, the. Because I can guarantee, once oh, they find a way to 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 to, to make a dude have a bigger dick, they're gonna be on. They're gonna be at They already got that. Hey, they already got, got that. that. They already got that. Oh, they're that. gonna be as soon as they can afford they're gonna be going. Nah, nah. I just found out what a nipple dick was. Wait, I'm like, what yeah. is that? Like, who? What is a nipple dick? I found oh, out. Well? I'm like, oh damn, that's terrible. That's terrible. Why would you have that? That's terrible. People have those. I don't know. It looks like a nipple, but it's really a dick. It's, it's not. It's not. It, that is. That is. That is an epic fail. That's upset. That's a letdown. You can't be proud of that. Right. You can't be. Like a micro penis. No. Excuse me. Like a micro penis. No, that's it. Looked like it looked like a nipple. I saw it. I saw it. I'm like, oh, this nigga is different. And he too much. Oh, wow. Like that's niggas cool. don't care about they, they 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 be happy with what they got. You can be happy with what you got, but if you got a nipple, then you need to figure out your life because that ain't living right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> he can't help it. He can't help it. I mean, it. he can't even fit the plan. 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 Extra small condoms. Like, come on. You got he can't condoms. You can't fit that. Your life is in shambles. That's what you gotta ask him. What his mouth do? I thought they only came in stock like two sizes, regular and extra large. <laughs> no, for, for some, it's, it's, it's no, they, they, they come. They come in small, medium, 
large, extra large, and some old bitch. I'm, that's a, I'm not fucking that. That's, that's, that's inhumane is what that is. I'm not fucking right. I'm not fucking that. I'm just going to get my bullshit pick up here. I want my uterus. I just need my uterus. Thank you so much. I don't want that. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh. We're in the after show. Let's let the people know we're in the after show. Yes, we are in the after show. If y'all want to call in. Next time, we got, got some on the line now. Oh, they hung up. Going. Hopefully, they call back. Call her. Call back. I'm sorry. I just saw you. But our phone number is 657-383-1155. But, yes. So, with, hey, yo, y'all, so how y'all feel about it? Y'all live tonight. Y'all live tonight. Y'all lit tonight, boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How y'all feel? So, so what y'all feel about Old boy, you know what I mean? Stevie Stephens and Stephen Stevie, whatever his name is. You know what I feel like? I, I saw Steve, Steve a bunch did. of bullshit when that happened. I saw a lot of black men blaming that girl for what happened, and I did not appreciate that. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah I know I the whole that status about that shit. Bullshit. Yeah, I seen that. Like, what the hell? Like, you seriously blaming this girl for what he decided to do? And then I've seen it from black women, too. Like, you need to call him. Why would you encourage another black woman to call a murderous fucking individual? Like, what the right. fuck? Right, that's this? crazy. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your yeah, mind? I, I, that shit. I missed that part. I, I missed that part. Yeah, I, I see all that. Yeah, 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 but that's crazy. I was that's crazy. people but out you know all what got day me Sunday and Monday. Yeah, what got me about the situation is that you know he was a he was a counselor helping people to not do what he was doing, and exactly. so all that all that stress and all whatever he was going through, and then they, he obviously had some issues prior to to whatever was going down. I mean, he he in the one video I saw, he was you know he blamed his mom, he blamed the situation with the girl, but you know basically he was having he was having emotional and psychological issues himself. And, he should have went to go I, see somebody himself. Exactly. I was about to say that. I was just about to say it, it's it's always that's a common thing that therapists should be seeing a therapist so that that way that they can offload some of that that angst and that and that and that uh, psychological damage that they're taking in from somebody else. They need to be able to offload that because most of them are going through something. The reason they even get into therapy is because. They need therapy themselves, or they have issues themselves that they that they that they were exploring that they needed to resolve. Now they're out there trying to help other people and not realizing they need to still help themselves or get help for themselves while they're doing that because it's it's, it's a double edged. You gotta story. understand. You gotta know yourself before you can help anybody else. You gotta understand what you're going through before you help anybody else because what your problem is is everybody else got the same problem. You amongst everybody else's problems. Right. Mm-hmm. True. True. Yeah. yeah. I just I, think I, that I just think that when I I hate when people get like like I say you could be mad about things you could be pissed off Mike it hurts you then sir it does not that man did not deserve that he had nothing to do with that situation if you feel like your life is over and somebody screwed you over like I don't promote suicide I don't suggest suicide I suggest you get help like none of that had to happen. Because you you had right. a bad day and you just couldn't take it. You can go talk to somebody. You a counselor. You know that there's people out there set in set in places that can help you. And you chose not to go that route. You chose to go do go go on a rampage and kill somebody that had nothing to do with nothing. Like what type of shit is that? Like so at that point I can't respect you. Am I mad that you died? No. Do I do I, do I think you should have killed yourself? No. But that's right. the route you chose. Like but I'm not happy what, that he killed himself. I won't celebrate. Know. Somebody killing themselves, but I just feel like right. that that could have went a whole different way. And the fact that you're a counselor, because I didn't know that, the fact that he's a counselor, stuff like that, mm-hmm. like you got that's some shit. He a coward. What makes me mad the most? Point blank. What makes me mad the most is he a coward. that all, the, the elderly man, the elderly man that had grandchildren who had a whole life yeah. he lived, and he was he 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 got his life taken away. For no reason, by a coward, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because that uh, that elderly man walking down that street, mind his business on Easter weekend, praising God on his way to serve God or whatever what he's doing, he's mind his own business. Coward man took that man's life for no reason because mm-hmm. he couldn't handle his own problems. He couldn't cope. Mm-hmm. He yeah, couldn't cope like, because. Yeah, that's cowardice though. That's I, that's straight coward. Like I don't want to hear I don't want to hear him talking about he had any mental issues. I don't want to hear none of that. He knew what he was doing. When you when you when you look at the when you look at the video, 
and you listen to him talk, he's telling you. See, I didn't even watch the video because I didn't want yeah. to. Talk. Once I, I heard what he did, I didn't video. watch the video. But, like, he, he told, he, he said, he like, I know I'm doing, I, this some sucker shit. I know I'm doing it, you know what I mean? I don't even want to do it. This is stuck. This is what he's saying. So when you telling me you know you doing some sucker shit, I don't got no, I don't, you know what I mean? You miss me with all that mental illness. You are very lucid. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I tell you, go, go look at the video. You don't got to look at the part because it's in separate parts. Mm-hmm. You don't got to look at the part where he shoot the old man. Just listen to him talk. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He took the coward. I mean, he took the coward's route out. You feel me? So, and, and he want to start blaming everybody else for his night. Nah, like, nah, like, you knew what you was doing was on some sucker shit. Because if you really just wanted to go kill, you know, what I mean, he tried to clean it up by saying he killed. He got fifteen more bodies and all of that to try to make it look yeah, like yeah, he, he, that 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 old man just what? Like, nah, bitch. The cops went to all them places, addresses you named, ain't find no damn body. Ain't no family members from no other family come out screaming that you done did something to them or they people's missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just only one person. That's it. Yeah, you just killed yeah, that so. man. You just killed the, unless, you killed the unless, weakest person you could see. Right, unless, you could find. Unless he's trying to, unless he trying to uh, uh, c- confess or something he did a long time ago. That's the only thing I could think of. I was like, well, maybe yeah. he confessed for something he did a long time that ago. That fool was lying. Else said, you know. Yeah, yeah was I, lying. I, I, I think he was lying too. I think he was just yeah, he was thinking lying. that. He was trying to he was trying to puff it up, pad it up, so they can come after him. You know I mean, what? I don't understand why. Me, why do you want to do something like that and have somebody come after you when when all you want to do is end your life anyway? Like, just go end your life. Just go kill yourself. Right. That, I, I, don't bring somebody else into your into your pain and your anguish and your issues when you you could right. take care of that yourself. You know. I mean, I don't like you like 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 Sunny said. I don't want to see him do that. I don't want to see anybody die. But don't kill people because you can't cope or that you can't handle your situation. You know. I mean, that's 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 kind of what happened with old boy. You know, he he uh, the the baseball player or football player rather that that just killed himself. You know, it's like duh. You know, people people they you know they saying oh they in pain and they in this and that. But why why bring other people into your pain? You you, you if you can't handle it, go go take care of that for yourself. Don't try to you take it out on everybody else. People. You know, stop making That's excuses selfish. for these just murderous be selfish. ass people. Exactly. They're murderers. Yeah, they stop selfish. making excuses for them. They did what they did and that's that. You for that, but you remember, sure. hey, but you know, you know, you know, one thing that I find like, you know, really, really, you know, in modern times right now, uh, sad to see the days where you know how in the movies where you can sit in a um, a psychologist's office on a chair and you can close your eyes and talk to your problems about that person, and they make money off of you. Uh-huh. It's not no like those days are done. Nobody got time to hear your problems no more. No, people do have pain. You know, the problem is that there is a stigma against going for therapy. It's a stigma. It's a stigma. That's a lot of things, and that's just that I don't want to. That's a big thing where a lot of black folks, they feel like they don't need to go talk to nobody. And you do. Right. They think like whether it's race, counseling, whether it's a lot of things. They have these programs out there for people. For everybody, and people just don't want to use them. They feel like they they don't need that. Ain't nothing wrong to you, you know. You, you, you'll be all right. It's like no, something's wrong. You need to go see somebody. If you African, know there's something wrong with you, and you need to go see somebody. In the African American community, the things that are shunned upon is things that are not accepted amongst mm-hmm. mental health. There's no funding for mental health. There's no resources for mental health. But there. are People that are fucking getting help for other dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? That, oh, that, 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 that people that yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a lot of resources for mental health. Let me yes, let me stop you there because I work in social service. Those resources okay. are there and available for those people to use. They do not use them. We offer those services. But it's, 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 even in my it's, job, that's, that's, that's part of that's a part of your um, health business. That you, you, have, you, have, you have the health care. You can also go to mental people, and they won't charge you. Like, you, you right. have to, like, it's, 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 oh, it's available, they don't but people it. don't use it because they think that they don't need it. Let Tiana say and something with resources. Against it. They would rather go to church and pray, and God going to take all my problems away. I don't need therapy. I don't need this. Bitch, yes, you do. 
You need to go talk right. to a physical live person that's here. You need feedback, okay? Get your ass in there. Right. Like, right. that's the problem with the black community. It's not a problem with going to, it's nothing wrong with talking to somebody. That go talk right. to somebody. When you talk to people and you get it out, you feel so much better. But sitting there holding it in, that's when people snap and go crazy. But mm-hmm. that's the exactly. I, I, mean, I know I had to do I had to do some resources. My daughter got out, out of control. And I was like, I need to go you know, talk to somebody. Like, I did that with my daughter. She was on her little rebellious moment, and she kind of went left field with that. And I had to, like, tell her, like, we, I took her to go see somebody because it would be either that or she was going to get out of my house. And that's how mm-hmm. I felt. And I was like, she needs to change. Mm-hmm. Something needs to happen because she's not going to be in my house acting like she done lost her mind because I'm, I'm going to be in jail somewhere. So I actually reached out, found, found, a, found an agency, um, called them out, see who accepted my insurance, and I took her. She went for a couple times. And after a while, everything was okay. And if she ever said, Mom, I want to go back, she can go back. But, like, you, you have to use mm-hmm. those resources that are afforded to you. They have a lot of programs. They have pro- problems for troubled teens. They have problems for troubled kids. They got stuff of, with adults with mental. Mm-hmm. But my mom, before she passed, she, she used to go to she used to go to Catholic charities in Trenton to to go talk to a therapist. Yep. Yeah. That's a lot. 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 That's you have to you you, you, just, you, you have to actually look, knowledge. and that's the point. That, that's the problem. People are lazy. You have to actually call your insurance and, and say, I'm, "Hey, I need to go see a, this type of person who accepts my insurance." You I have to look. look. You can't just they don't, they don't really have to even look far. They just got to look on the back of that insurance card and it say on there for mental health, call this number. Exactly. That's how exactly. far they got to look. And guess what? Medicaid. Ain't no reason why people are out here walking around without insurance as a single adult or whatever with no income. We're Medicaid is free. The Go get it. The, um, we're talking about the poor. We're talking about the poor. Now, I'm not saying the that poor. person that killed the baby. No, I'm, I'm not talking about. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not talking about the Facebook person was poor or nothing like that. I'm talking about in general people. That is 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 a real epidemic. We're talking about epidemics as as. The mind, the mind is the strongest part. Uh, like you know, what I'm saying, the, the the strongest part of your body. We're talking about the mind. Mm-hmm. That's not easily insured. People can't get health insurance for mental health because if they can't put food in their refrigerator, they're not th- they're not thinking about their mind um, because they they got to have to worry about. Again, you don't have, you don't have insurance. That's what I'm saying. You don't even have to have insurance. In Detroit, we got it free. Mental health services are available for free in Detroit. They they do have it. They they do have it free. They have they have crisis centers. They have like come on, you talking to somebody like in like my mom I'm stopped working, working and she got insurance through Social Security and and welfare. Like you have these programs, but like this is the problem. It's not that it's not available. It's that people don't people don't take advantage of. It. People don't do what they do. You can't just walk in and say, oh, you you, you can't just say, oh, I need this. Nobody's not helping you. You have to help yourself right. and look. Now now. Uh, now, 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 now Hold on, let me say something. Here's the thing, though. The problem is, you feel me, the lack of knowledge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Most people just don't know. You feel me? And they then, like, like we, 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 it's, it's, it's a couple things going on here. Like y'all said, y'all, keep, y'all said it yourselves. In a black community, you know what I mean, going to get help, you know, that's not taught to us. That's not taught to most black people to go get help for no, uh, go talk to somebody. No, it's taught immediately to keep that, that shit inside your house. Yeah, but and, and and that's my point. So people don't even go, they don't even think about going to look for help because they are they're trained that they're not even supposed to feel that way. That's not right. how they're supposed to they be. Are, that's true. You feel me? So 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 most people when you when you train that way, you know you can't say most people lazy. They just don't want to look for help. They don't know. Yeah. It, it, that's that. It, it's not in their make. That's not how they was. That you can't get true. mad at somebody if they that don't know. Right. But I mean, just like, just, just, like, just like my man on the line right now, he, he knows that there's free resources. Go, go ahead. There's go ahead, a huge you. population right. that come into my job, right? And we evaluate these people. And I can see that these people need help, and we will offer them these services. We ask them these questions. And they answer these questions, yes, 
I feel like I need to talk to somebody. Yes, I feel like I'm going to hurt myself or somebody else. And we say to them and give them, this is where you need to go. Do you think they actually go? No, they do not. The nope. minute that they get nope. them food stamps, they can walk their asses back up in that office again. They get it and they go. They don't want the help. That stigma is so, that stigma has to go. We have to start encouraging people. Go talk to somebody. We got to, you know what I'm saying? We got to start putting yeah, that out that's, there. That's, and that's my that's, point. And people are not starts, doing that. Starts, and like, you got to gotta retrain the community. Time, because that's in, in our community, safe. that's not accepted. So they'll tell you, like, yeah, yeah. They'll tell you whatever you want to hear. But deep down, they're like, man, I ain't going to talk to nobody. I ain't beating for that bullshit. They ain't, they ain't what we make. They ain't, that's white people shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. how, that's yeah, how the, that's exactly when somebody trained can. that way. When, yeah. When a, when, and that shit's so spread in the community. Like, that shit deep-rooted. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We don't even realize we are mentally, we are mentally, because right. they don't want us right. to know that we are, they, they did mentally fuck us. You feel me? Exactly. Like, they mentally, they, they, they mentally fucked us. So they they that that stigma they want that stigma spread out through the black community. Yeah, y'all don't need no help. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. Y'all can fix it yourselves. I know. Go play. Me. Yeah, go play. You good? You feel me? Yeah. People, yeah. That's what I was about to say. They better get over that. Stop. Listen, the church ain't the answer to everything. I'm sorry, it ain't. Right, Excuse yeah. me, can I say it's something? Can I say something? All right, so next time you see a homeless person, right, wherever y'all at, right, at that red light or whatever, ooh, ooh, right, and you tell him, I'm not going to give you no money, but I'm going to give you a pamphlet where you can do some help at, look at him and, look at him and, 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 and see what he tell you. Yeah, I don't want no, I don't want no pamphlet if you ain't going to put no money, like some money or whatever. I don't, Actually, uh, I've done that. I've done that. People, I've done that. When people I people want the quick solution. They want the quick solution. They don't want to know. Eat. I've done that, though. And you, you know, know what is? I tell them? Why are you, and they stand by my job and do this. Why are you standing out here begging for food when you can go right down the street and walk out of there, out of there and have you some food stamps tomorrow? And you can walk you out of the emergency bathroom for food. Yeah, let me ask you something. You just said the you, 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 you act, you trying to, you, you trying to, you're trying to rationalize crazy. Like some no, people just eat, like you said yourself. Exactly. Like some people are mentally I screwed up that. up top. So like you so no. to you it's some it's crazy. Them. Like why won't you just go do that? Like you can't they can't they can't explain it to no, you. No, but you know they hear that when I tell them that, you they say, Oh my God, I didn't know I could do that. Yes, you can. Go do it. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah, and when they ask me, don't know. So, I can't. I can't give so, you my hard-earned money because I worked hard, hard for this, and I'm a single parent. I got a child at home, and I got to eat too. But what I will do for you, come see me tomorrow at my job, and I'll make sure you walk out of there with something to eat. But you have and a the job. Eat and the next day after job. That. They don't have no resources. You have but, a job. But, 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 to but help what she said. But they got they, 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 they don't have programs to come in housing and all that. Yeah, what she's saying but, is that it is held out there. They just, That's what I'm saying. they just don't know. And you so know when I, mean? I run into like them, I, I let them know the resources are out here. I'm never not working because of my job. So when I see these people, listen, this is what you need to do, and this, this is going to help you. And they like, oh, my God, mm-hmm. I had no idea. So what's the long-term solution for mental health and uh, uh, welfare in the black community? And not only in the black community, but worldwide. Worldwide, what is the long-term That's solution? Right. Each each other helping each other, and getting over the you know what I'm saying the the norm of the society of people that don't have education. What what could we do each other to help everybody else? Because right now what's going on is people that have are not giving back to the people that don't have nothing. They have to go into these places that have the resources. Like they have to be educated on their places, on places that can give them resources to get them not only a place to stay, give them food on their table, give them give, give them the resources to get help mentally and health wise. But like you, like I said, you, you we can go. It's it's like I know at Trinity they have these little programs. They have programs out every weekend at Trinity where they see the home people, they they feed them and then they give them pamphlets about different programs and they tell them about these different programs. You can you can give you can give my information all you want. 
you can't force them to do anything. They have to want to do it themselves. So if it becomes a let me educate you on, on, on what's available to you and how we can help you, 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 you have so to make a decision whether or not you want our help. And another thing, wait, so wait, take, the other thing is, so too, is that a lot of people, even, even if they don't have, it, it, one, quick, one quick thing, the other thing, too, is that even when people don't, uh, uh, have the ability to go out and, and, and seek those resources that you give them. They have advocates. There's advocate programs out there that will hand that will hold your hand through the whole process. All you gotta do is give and them a call. That's the only you. step you have to take. You make that first step, they'll walk you through the entire process to get your food stamps, mm-hmm. to get your SSI, to get your mental health, yep. to get your uh, uh, your uh, yep. uh, your food. Your, I mean your uh, your lodging. I mean, I, I got a, a, a cousin or a, a, a niece that went through the same thing, and they walked her through the whole process, and she was able to get a, a, a place to stay. She was able to get food stamps. She was able to get uh, mental health for her child. She was able to get a bunch of stuff. So it's not. It, 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 there's there's ways of getting of getting what you need, but people have to make that first step. They got to. But, but hold on. Back to the original point. To the original do. To the original. While we he didn't. We talk about Steven Stephens. He knew about all that. All that he knew, all that was available to him. Yes, he was. He had that. a good job. He had a good nice job. You, you feel me? He, he was. The problem a is, <laughs> the, yeah. The problem is, some people just don't care. Yeah, exactly. Don't give a fuck. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. And like he understood earlier, like I'm not like I said, I don't want to make no excuses for dude. Like he can miss me with that whole mental illness argument. Yeah, I don't you think he's crazy at all. Yeah, yeah, he could miss me with that whole argument from him. You know what I mean? He was a coward. He went after the weakest person he could he could find. Somebody that couldn't defend themselves. Right. To defend weak. himself. He was a coward. You feel me? I mean, like, he wouldn't go up. He, he, he was so weak, he couldn't even face the people that hurt him. You understand? What? In the hood, though. Why he ain't come to that's, the hood, though, when niggas got, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Well, he, he, he couldn't even, he couldn't face the woman that broke his heart. So, yeah, he, so, you know. You feel me? Like, he couldn't face her. He had to go, he had to go find a 70 and then blame her. Are you serious? All right, guys, we, 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 we got to wrap the show. We got less than five. Listen, right. I, want say, I want to say one quick thing. I want to say one quick thing. I want to say one quick thing. I want to say one quick thing, I want to say one quick thing and I'm done. I want to say one quick thing and I'm done, all right? So um, getting back to the whole point about uh, helping people that can't help themselves, next time mm-hmm. you see somebody that's in a position that you don't understand what they're going through, instead of talking to them, make sure you throw up a pamphlet or something and see if they're going to help themselves before you can even say they don't want no help, they don't need no help. If they want to help, ooh, ooh. I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, everybody that's doing everything and in, in everything that's going on and all that. But the times we live in right now, people that are people that need to reach back and help everybody else, they're not doing that. They're just sitting back in their comfortable homes and looking out the window and saying, he don't want to help himself. He don't want to help himself. It's up to us to <laughs> right, reach out yeah, I, and I come back. I you know what I'm saying? Got to. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I, feel Peace, I love you, man. I gotta go, off, man. Yeah. I gotta work in. I, I gotta work in the morning. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. All right. Thanks for calling in. Why, well, guys? I'm glad I was up tonight. I guess I'll see y'all next week. I'm gonna try and be up. Thank you for having. Here we go. All right. All right. Uh, Wrap the show up. Y'all getting out y'all info? All right. Y'all know what? Y'all info. Get at me. Y'all know where I'm at. Keystruth. dot com. Uh, find me anywhere. Uh, Clint Black, B L A Q on uh, Instagram, all right. Follow us on um, iTunes, GFT Radio, and I am Sunny underscore D on every social thing. Find me on my, my blog, unreservedlyme.wordpress.com. Thank you guys for joining us WordPress tonight. WordPress is not there no more. Good night. GFTradio.com. <laughs> Good night. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> Daddy, where do babies come from? Uh, well, uh... Honey? Mommy went to the store. Oh, well, you see, um... Well, there's a mommy and a daddy, right? Right. 
and see when they call Geico,、uh, they could save a bunch of money on car insurance. Oh, really? And that makes them happy? Yes, that makes them very happy. That's good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we could have this talk, Sunshine. <laughs> Geico, because saving 15 percent or more on car insurance is always a great answer. Only T-Mobile gives you unlimited data with taxes and fees included, so you save hundreds a year. And get two lines for just a hundred bucks a month, all in with AutoPay. And right now, harness the power of unlimited with a Samsung Galaxy S8. It's the fastest Galaxy ever, so it deserves the fastest and most advanced LTE network. Why wait? Switch today. Only at T-Mobile. Top three percent of users greater than 30 gigabytes per month may notice reduced speeds. Price includes sales tax.